What's up guys, Aaron Benjamin here for another video. I'm here with my good friend Ty. So in my last video, I showed a heel hook and a toe hold from the Modified Single Leg X. We've been working the Modified Single Leg X a lot on my channel, so I'm gonna link a bunch of videos in the description because if you're not familiar with the position, you're gonna wanna familiarize yourself with the principles and the concepts that we use to sweep, to attack submissions, and to do pretty much everything that we're gonna do from the Modified Single Leg X. It all runs off of one versatile principle that I use to manipulate and rotate the direction of my opponent's knee. So in this video, I'm going to play directly off of the last one where we did the toe hold and the heel hook and I'm going to discuss how we can set up the knee bar from a failed toe hold attempt. There is a way to set it up without the toe hold attempt, but today we're going to focus on if you're going for that toe hold that we did in the last video, how are you going to get the knee bar if you're not able to successfully get the toe hold. I just want to take a quick second to thank everybody. The subscription count is almost at 400 in just two weeks, guys. So thank you so much. Seriously, it means a lot, guys. I've gotten so much good feedback on many different places, Reddit, the BJ Fanatics group, Facebook, YouTube, and I'm really happy, guys. So thank you. I'm going to keep pushing out content, but let's get started. So we're here in the Modified Single Leg X, guys. So Modified Single Leg X, very quickly, is just basically a single leg X position where I hook his far leg with my right leg right behind the crook of the knee. My left leg hooks shallow on Ty's right leg. So I don't put both hooks on Ty's left leg like in a traditional X guard. And I also don't bring his leg to my shoulder. I keep my ankle lock grip. You can do ankle lock, you can do pants, you can do hamstring. All that is in the modified single leg X principles videos. So I'm here. I'm gonna manipulate the direction of Ty's knee to get into the toe hold position, which was what I discussed in my last video. So by having this shallow hook, I'm able to bring my left knee behind Ty's right knee and I'm able to like wedge my hook in there and turn his knee by turning to my side and doing this motion with my left leg. I'll change the angle in a second. So I'm here like this. Anytime you can break his posture, it's going to be even better because then you're going to have three methods of control that are all aiding you to rotate this knee. So maybe I have the collar or maybe I double up on his knee. Either one is fine. And this is what I'm going to do to Ty to expose the top of his foot. I'm going to bring Ty to my right, like this. Here, let's turn this way just a little. I'm going to bring Ty to my right like this. Now this leg can either stay as a hook or push here. And now my left hand, that was the ankle lock grip, is going to come to the top of the toes. It can be a little awkward to get to the top of the toes. So I like to bring my shoulder to my knee. So my right shoulder to my right knee. So I can make the space to bring my left hand to the top of his toes. Initially I grab. Now right away I'm going to switch back to a traditional Ashi and I'm going to control his knee. Here like this. Traditional single X, traditional Ashi. Now I start to bend the foot right here. And then maybe I double up or maybe I can get the tap here with the toe hold. We're talking about the knee bar today. Ty tries to roll. I let him roll but I stop him with my right hook. Right, so this hook here. Now, I can double up here at this point and get the toe hold finished if I can bring his big toe to his butt. But let's say Ty's good and he starts to really extend this leg. Right, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying, I'm in this fight and he's fully extended. I can't win this battle, right? So I'm gonna bail and go to the knee bar. So how do I do that? I'm gonna abandon the toe hold and I'm gonna push up on his heel and Achilles just to make room for my hand to come here. That's going to be my first transition. So basically I'm going to let go of the toes and I'm going to bring my hand forward. I'm going to shoot this way so his foot falls. So I'm here, he's extending, he's extending. I let go of the right hand first, maintain control of the top of his foot, and I feed it just like this. Now I clamp nice and tight here. And this is the most important adjustment. I don't have the knee bar yet. I might be able to finish it, but I don't have the knee bar yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my shoulder to elevate my hip. See how I elevated my hip? You see the placement of my right hook, how it's on his far leg? The reason I don't have a good knee bar is because I'm not doubling up on his leg that I'm trying to knee bar. So look, I bring this leg out and I hook just his right leg. So I was hooking the far left, I hooked just his right. So again, one more time, I lifted my hip, 
and I got to here. Now I still have this good grip. I can grab my hamstring and I can hip in. And I'm gonna get the tap here. It's a really tight knee bar, guys. Keep the knees pinched super tight and then just come back hard. All right, so one more time, different angle. It's very, it is a little bit complex. It's easier than you might think, but again, like with anything, practice is gonna make perfect. And it's just a good knee bar off of that fail toe hold attempt. I always speak honestly and I don't sugarcoat things. I do way more toe holds and heel hooks than I do knee bars, but this is one of the few knee bars that I'm able to get. But I like to try to finish with plan A, which is the toe hold. So maybe this time we rotate his knee and we turn him this way, right? My right shoulder goes to my right knee to make space for my left hand to grab the top of his toes. I switch back to traditional Ashi or single leg X. So a hook comes from behind the knee back to the hip. This is to keep space. Now, I start to attack the foot by bending it here. Most of the time I get to finish here, right? But this time Ty tries to roll. Perfect. My right hook stops that roll. It limits his mobility. Maybe I double up, I start to try to bend, he extends. Maybe I never have the opportunity to double up and I feel he extended right away. So now I take this hand, lift my hip a little, and I feed his heel to my armpit. Now look, I come up on my hip. See how I use my shoulder to come up on my hip? Almost like I'm gonna roll. Very similar to if I was just gonna roll. And now my right hook that's on his far leg goes to the same leg. And now I pinch the knees and I come back here for the knee bar finish. This hand comes, I like to grab my hamstring, I like to clamp my elbow back, and then I like to hip in. So let's see it one more time from a completely different angle. Let's go this way. So again, I'm here. Maybe I manipulate the knee, I come here, I turn, I start to get his foot, I come to here, he rolls, right, he extends right away. I come here, I double up here, and I get the finish, guys. So, like I said guys, this one is a little bit tough. If you haven't seen the other videos, you're definitely going to want to watch those first. But man, it's a very good knee bar. I'm sure Ty can tell you that it's pretty tight. So, thanks for watching and if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Awesome.